my my questions would be around that and the, in, in the health and safety profession we've always had sort of um things we can identify as a cause for change so the 1974 act for example and then the management regulations in 92 and then the six back in 94 uh, the cdm regulations coming in have always given us a great opportunity for change um with regards to the um the, the other opportunities i think we had the opportunities we've had things like the, the me too movement and the black lives matter movement and the global pandemic are causing us to all reflect on our values and the way we were or the way we are and we we need to do something around this and change so, so what i've learned very much over the past 10 years is the issues around mental health and well-being are exacerbated when you are in a minority group and you may be female in a male dominated workplace or different ethnic background or different sexuality or you may be suffering from the stigma uh, of mental ill health and, and, and the world that we live in at this moment in time makes that worse uh, how do we make change uh, there's a great question for bob around you know safety and, and, and what it means and where we've gone with it and i've got a strong belief that you can have the best processes and systems in the world but if your people are not with you you're just wasting your time because people will nod and agree and behave in the way we prescribe to them but if, but if they're not bought in and not part of the you know finding the solution to be the best we can be with delivering whatever it is we're working on it it, it can be just a waste of time and we're, we're missing an opportunity so that's what I want to focus on the opportunity we've got, which has been thrown up by this fairly unpredictable pandemic. And uh, what can we do collectively to do that tonight?